Hello everyone, this is Won Hyun. In this video, we are talking about how to make beam mesh instead of quad tetrahedral solid mesh. So, uh, let me start with opening a uh, new study. So, this is going to be study static study. So now, uh, we normally we are applying the material property on this the yellow box, but I'm here we can treat this model as beam so once click this one it changed like that and then we can calculate where the joints are so right click on join group and then click edit so now it's uh, already uh, the selected like that and then calculate click calculate button and then it gives us two point joint point okay so just click it now uh, let me define the, the boundary condition. The, this is cantilever. One, one side is fixed, one side is free. So click fixed geometry. All right. So we can see uh, two joints rather than um, the surface and the other the, the features. So click here and then click one of the joints like that. So you can see uh, the green arrows it gives the fixed uh, boundary condition and click now I need force okay so go to external loads and right click and click force now uh, we can see uh, uh, we can see this box uh, on the left and then change the option so click joints like that and then it uh, shows two joints we already calculate calculated so now one of join actually this this joints gonna be uh, gonna be the place we where we apply 10 newton forces and we need a reference geometry for the direction click this edge and then click force and here is we specify 10 newton the direction is right okay so click that so now uh, I can make mesh so create mesh and then it gives this kind of mesh it's like hollow tube so yeah this is really fast and it gives the first order uh, approximation calculation and then go run run oh we need apply material property here click apply uh, and then go to aluminum alloy and 6061 alloy and then apply it close so here and then run it now uh, we can we have the stress distribution and displacement distribution so double click displacement and i can change this one uh, we select ui and then change display scaling factor is automatic and it gives this so point five point eight uh ten to the minus two millimeter so oh, let me animate it okay so yeah this is the what uh how much the deflect this beam okay so this is uh how to make a beam mesh so please uh please go through uh in step by step so if you have any question, just let me know. Thank you.